Hey guys, it's Bo from Laxfly here with an Evolution 3 with a really nice mid pocket. Has a real tight channel. And he went with one straight nylon and two straight um, shooters. Should work really well. Um, has about mid whip and mid hold. Obviously, since it's got the two straights, it wouldn't have as much hold as it. It had three or uh, two straights in the U, but it still has a good amount of hold. So it's got a really tight channel, and it's a pretty defined pocket. Um, should work really well for him. I like the Evolution 3. It's a bit wider head, and I kind of like that. Um, stallions a bit wider up top. Heads like that are, um, I think, easier to catch with and throw with. Maybe it's because I switch over from using a goalie stick, but I know a lot of other players agree with it. Uh, a lot of heads these days are a little too pinched. Like, um, the Stallion's perfect. This is a little bit wide, but uh, it will work for pretty much every player. Um, a really nice channel and a really nice defined mid pocket should work really well for him. Uh, like I said, the Evolution 3, a really nice head. Hey guys, it's Bo from Lax Squad. I'm just going to be adding heads to this video because um, sometimes I can't get all the heads done at the same time. Um, so I'll have another head on this, but this is a Stallion with a really nice channel and it's about mid to mid high pocket. Should work, work really well. Um, my favorite shooter setups on the Stallion is on this one. One straight nylon and two U's. There's a five diamond and a three diamond U. Um, they went with a black and red triangle top, red nylon, black sidewalls, and a pink uh, bottom string, which I think is pretty cool looking. Um, overall, it came out really nicely. It's about mid to mid high. Shifts nice. Should work work really well. It's for a uh, um, it's for, for a midi, so it's kind of like the perfect overall midi pocket. Personally, a mid to mid high pocket, uh, even better for like a shooting midi. This is like the perfect pocket. So here's the next head. It's a uh, traditional Trade X on a Viper Two. Um, my favorite tr uh, type of traditional is a trade X or a custom, whatever you like to call it. It it gets it gets the feel of a traditional. Um, with it's a bit stiffer at first, obviously, because uh, like than a six diamond traditional because there's more strings, because um, of the cross. But it breaks in the nicest. It's the perfect combination, I would say, um, and it's real shifty. How traditionals need to be shift high, can shift low, sits real nicely on the mid. Uh, shallower pocket, let it break in, and it's for a new newer player, so I don't want to throw anything too deep to where he has to adjust it or anything. Um, and I really like how it came out. I'm not normally a fan of neons, uh, maybe just a little bit like an accent color, but. Uh, Overall, it actually looks really good together. Uh, we went with black leathers and neon green sidewall, neon green shooters, purple nylon, uh, pink center cla uh, center track, multi neon. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a cross lace and sidewall from Jim Lax, and we went that for that in the inners, and then neon blue for the outers. And I really like how it came out. The pocket's really nice, uh, something I could see myself using, kind of similar to my uh, traditional. You guys haven't seen that video. I did it a while back, so you might have to search for it. Um, but I really like how it came out, and it's got about mid-whip, and uh, until it breaks in, you can't really tell the hold on a traditional, but it looks about it's going to be about mid-hold. Um, I really like how it came out, and not normally a fan of the colors. It doesn't look as good on camera as it does in real life. It's really popping and uh, cool looking, but thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe.